Yeah. What TV couldn't do, I hope that YouTube can. Because uh, people in our country, and I think all over the world, love cricket conversations. All the cricket fans in the world love it when we speak about uh, the icons that we've seen. But you've seen it from a very different lens. You've seen it from the locker room. I believe you were a part of the 2003 Indian World Cup team. Correct. Uh, you were helping them with their sports psychology. Correct. Yes, absolutely. And you've also worked in the IPL. Uh, you've also worked with international athletes. You've worked with other sports. So all I want to say is I'm very excited, as you can tell. Thank you very much. You know, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. And what you've said is hits the nail on the head. I think the audience are hungry to understand what goes on inside the mind of a champion. And it's the next frontier for Indian sport in itself as well. If we can unlock this for our athletes, we'll see phenomenal growth in terms of our Olympic athletes and elite athletes on an international stage. Yeah, um, we began doing a lot of cricket podcasts last year. Uh, the first detailed one I did was with KL Rahul. And that whole podcast was about me trying to unlock his mentality. Those are the questions I always had for the cricketers that I watch. Yeah. Uh, and he was happy to answer them. And he said that I enjoy the questions because for the first time, someone's trying to get into my mind through questions. And those were just the general fan questions I was asking. Correct. So uh, I think that podcast got received very well uh, by the audiences because of this reason that there's a whole mental side of the game that television can't possibly show you. And perhaps podcasts or documentaries are the only mediums because of which you can understand the psychology of a top level athlete.